A while ago, I got a request to do Needle in the Hay by Elliot Smith. And it turns out it's a really hard song to play, and it's even harder to figure out how to teach it. Mainly not because the parts are that individually hard, but it's just it flows really well, and it's hard to break it apart. Um, but one of the tabs online is really good, so I put a link to that in the description. And if you pull that up, you'll see like it says the basic layout is. So I'm just going to go through the different parts um, from the layout and then leave it up to you to figure out how to put them together. Really, like you just got to pretty much listen to it a ton of times and I almost have it all the way through perfect and when I do that, do that maybe I'll put a recording up if someone wants to see it. Um, so the first part is the intro. So it goes like this. It goes... <laughs> Make sure you pull up the tabs. So what you gotta do is put your third finger right here on F. And you gotta hit both these strings. So it's like small, like the whole song uses like small little strums. And I kind of do more like, not full on palm muting, but kind of like a. Like when I'm playing that kind of style. So third finger on three on the D string, and you hit these two. It's kind of tense sounding. So it really stands out when you're listening to it. A C chord three and two, and then you go to E minor seven zero two zero. So this one you actually hit. You should hit all three. It's kind of hard. It's sometimes I end up doing that. It still sounds okay. And then you go to this little A five chord. So it's this F with, with a G, which I would just consider like it's kind of like an F chord, but it's just tense sounding. So. So make sure you pull up the tab, this is the intro. So I'll just play through it twice and go on to the next part. So So it's pretty tense sounding. And the song is definitely depressing and kind of has a tension to it. And then the intro transitions to the chorus. So you'll definitely have to play along for a little bit to figure that out. But he, this guy tabs out the transition, which is accurate. So the chorus, you're gonna come from this chord. And then what you wanna do is hit these three. Basically it's gonna transition, put this as an open string to one, to two. So you gotta learn how to hold this middle finger down, and hit all three of these strings, and then add this finger and then this finger. Then you go to C, and this part's a little bit trickier. And then you gotta go to an F chord, like the bottom of it. So this is probably the hardest thing technically in the song to do, is going from C. So it's, you have the C chord, these three. Then you got a switch. So like, this is actually C to uh, augmented chord. It's just transition note. And you put your pinky down, your middle finger moves up. So. Then you go back to this. impressed with this tab because the guy actually tabs out like every little tiny change and they're actually it's actually pretty much I think it's exactly accurate so it's a pretty amazing tab because normally you can't find ones like this. So here's the chorus again you start with this little guy
nice thing to note is it's going to go back to verse 1. But verse 2 has a slight variation, but he does it a lot in the songs. If you find verse 2 in the tab, it's almost exactly the same as the intro um, and verse 1, except that it stays on this chord longer. This can really throw you off. So you just got to listen to the song a bunch. So verse 2 is basically the same as the intro in verse 1, except it goes... Stays here twice as long. So. so you just gotta really listen to it a bunch of times to figure out how the intro, verse one, verse two, and the chorus all kind of um, flow together. But I just showed all the different chords, and really the only really technically hard part is the is the chorus getting the especially that switching from C. also one last thing before I go on to the next parts that are a lot different. It's worth just practicing this. Just C and then to F. This is a pretty common thing to do. So after that, the next part is the first bridge. And this is where he actually starts strumming chords. And this is pretty fun to play. So it goes A minor. And what you're going to do is make sure you hit the F the A string every time so it starts out with A minor and he's kind of doing like a like palm muting like bouncing his hand on the string so so he's not going like he's not doing a normal like open strum he's doing that kind of bouncy thing so A minor then you just switch these two fingers to here so it's A minor F F chord, A minor, and C, E, then you go to F bar chord, and this is the first bridge, and here he kind of bounces his hand even on the guitar, and then to G, E, A minor, F, and then back to this, this A minor 7 chord, and you stay here for a while. like some muting so make sure you pull up this tab I'm gonna do the bridge I'm just gonna play through it now because I explained all the chords and it's pretty long so here it is it goes a minor transitions really smoothly into the verse so this whole song just flows so smooth that it's probably why it's hard to learn it and hard to teach it so the verse is basically the same thing as the other verses except he's using bigger chords so it's going to be this chord so this is the F shape so now it's just one two three four strums again That's verse three. So it sounds like the first verses, except you're using bigger shapes. Um, then after that, there's sort of, I don't even know what he's calling this. I guess in the tab, he's considering it part of the verse three. So you play the first part of verse three. does that four times it's going to be now this throws me off this E major A minor like it's right over the words wherever I want it's going to go F C E he sort of like doesn't stay on A minor very long so it's easy to get thrown off there so E F it kind of jumps to F a little bit ahead of the measure G, E, A minor, F. Go 
Whoops, you don't want to hit the B string. Then he goes back to the chorus. And then the other thing is there's a, like something called the short bridge right before he goes to the outro. Um, and that's just, again, it's just going to be these more open chords. Like... And then the outro starts in this. There's kind of a trick to it. If you put your middle finger here and use your first finger here, and you can like toggle stuff like this. So it starts out with 2-2, two, two, it goes. And then. the outro again it's a little hard to name these chords but so again if you put your fingers like this I find it's a little easier it's kind of weird it ends on F you expect you expect it to end on A minor so one last time the outro, because it's a little bit tricky. You can do it like this. I mean, he's probably doing it like that, but one trick, you can kind of do it like this. This is how I'd probably play it, though. Well, I actually ended up here, so two. It's a really tricky song. It's surprisingly hard to play because it sounds simple and he makes it sound really smooth and easy. But if anyone wants, I could like record the whole thing. I'm just playing along if it helps. Or